Hello everyone, in this video we will be solving for the value of x in this exponential equation but from the question x is a real number so we are restricted in some way, right? So let's get started. We have 3 to the power x plus 9 is also the same as 3 to the second power then all to the power x plus 27 is also the same as 3 to the third power then all to the power x and this is equal to 14. Now let's apply this power rule a to the power m or to the power n is the same as a to the power or to the power m. So what it means is that we can interchange the position of x and 3 likewise this one too we can interchange them right so we're gonna have 3 to the power x plus 3 to the power x or to the power 2 plus 3 to the power x or to the power 3 and this is equal to 14. now the reason is that we want to let 3 to the power x equal to m so the equation now becomes m plus m to the power 2 plus m to the power 3 is equal to 14. We have a cubic equation, so let's equate everything to 0. So we will have m to the third power plus m to the second power plus m minus 14 is equal to 0. So how can we solve this cubic equation? There are a lot of ways to solve this one, but I'm kind of uh, lazy, forgive me. I'm going to use shortcut to solve this problem. So let's see. If we consider these two terms over here, we have 14 and then m. m could be written as 7m minus 6m. Now let's consider this m squared. Since we have 6 here, and then this 6 is there for free. We need to write this one in such a way that we can find something that can divide 6. So we will write m squared also as 3m squared minus 2m squared. So let's go ahead and then put this into the equation. So we have m to the third power. Now this m is this one, but I'm going to write this one first. So we will have minus 2m squared plus 3m squared, this one. Then from here, we are going to replace the whole of this one by m. But I'm going to write this one first, first as well. So you have minus 6m, then plus 7m minus 14 is equal to 0. Right, now from here we can take m squared out. So we're going to have m squared times m minus 2. Then from this side we can also take 3m out. So we have plus 3m, then we are left with m minus 2. Likewise, this side we can take 7 out and we are left with m minus 2. And this is equal to 0. Now you see that m minus 2 is common, so let's take it out as well. We have m minus 2. Then here we are left with m to the second power. Then from here we are left with 3m. And lastly, we have plus 7. And this is equal to 0. At this point, we can say that m minus 2 is equal to 0 or... The quadratic equation, which is m squared plus 3m plus 7, is 0. Now let's consider this first equation. If we add 2 on the both sides, we have m is equal to 2. But remember that we let m equal to 3 to the power x. So when m is 2, we're going to have 3 to the power x is equal to 2. We are looking for x, so let's take log in base 3 on each side of the equation so that we get log in base 3 of 3 to the power x is equal to 
log in base 3 of 2. Now from the properties of log, the power now becomes the leading number. So we're going to have x log in base 3 of 3 is equal to log in base 3 of 2. Now we know that the whole of this one is equal to 1. So therefore, x is equal to log in base 3 of 2 as one of the solutions. Now let's consider the quadratic equation over here. Remember in the question we were restricted that x belongs to real numbers, right? So what it means is that we are looking for only real answers to the problem. So before we tackle this problem, let's discriminate and see whether this equation, we can get real answers from it. So let's use the discriminant formula, which is b squared minus 4ac, right? We know that b from the question is equal to 3, the coefficient of m, a is equal to the coefficient of m squared, and then c is equal to the constant, which is 7. So we're going to have 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 7. So we have 9 minus 28. And we see that this is equal to negative 19, which is less than 0. If the discriminant is less than 0, then it means we are going to get complex solutions. But in the question, because x is a real number, we are not going to solve for x because we will be getting complex solutions. So in all, the final answer to the problem is x is equal to log base 3 of 2 as the answer. Go to the description of this video. I have the links to some books on Amazon. You can purchase them and I'll get something small, right? So thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day and see you again on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.